hopefully we're just going to have an uneventful time doing afternoon chores. Because we've had some eventful events around here lately. Yesterday, Eric came face to face with a bobcat. It had stole, we were just inside, and we had just finished up dinner, playing a game, getting ready for bed, and getting the kids ready for bed, I guess. It was only 7.30ish. And Eric heard the goat screaming and a weird noise. So we said, he ran out, saw something scaling our six foot fence with what looked to be a chicken in its mouth. So he went running out, chased it for a while, eventually found it. He's tracking it on foot with a pink plastic rake and, and uh, not much else for protection. And turns out it was a bobcat. And the bobcat had taken the chicken, of course. Well, we heard it scream for a while. No, guys, you stay out. Ba ba ba. He'd taken it right over that fence. He climbed up the fence and took it right over. It was crazy. Oh, not many eggs today. Probably because I don't have hardly any chickens left. They keep disappearing. Down to 11 chickens, which is only 9 hens. So. He's trying today. He went out. Oh, good. The generator's on the inside. He went out today and strung up the electric wire across the top. And hopefully, this is where he caught it. Look at all those feathers. Ugh. We thought it was a... Um, we thought it was a coyote or a fox. But, um, no. All right, let's turn this guy on. Hi, guys. So, the solar panel's been, I just heard the, the fence go, Rrr. solar panel's been charging all afternoon. And he's got the wire across the top, hopefully tall enough that if something tries to scale it, it will get zapped enough to not want to come back. I don't see anything out there right now. See anything? I don't see anything. I see goats. <laughs> I see I see goats. Hi goats. Oh, I know, Coco. They've eaten all the green out. And I didn't let anybody out today. Because the babies have been out. And um I meant to let the mamas out today, but I forgot. <sighs> you know, it's funny, we get such strong winds around here. Everything blows. Our full garbage can has blown across the street. But chicken feathers caught caught in um weeds or grass can live forever. They never they never leave. We had a chicken last year that a fox caught. Here you go chicken. That a fox caught and her feathers stayed out in the field. I don't even know. It was like months. Let's go out and check the turkey. Gonna go check the boys. He normally doesn't come around until right about dusk. So I don't know. If that electric fence doesn't get him. I'm not sure I know what else to do. I posted on my chicken board. What should I do? Most of the answers were shoot it, which may happen eventually if he doesn't go away. All right, you guys got water. You're all good. Hello. Rambo would not go into his own cage last night, so he is with the babies. So far, everything's been fine. Hi, Hawk. Hawk has water. Hi. What's your deal? I don't have any snacks. I know. You and Rambo got into it. I know. I know. I know. Hawk is such a sweet boy. And him and Rambo, remember, got into it a couple weeks ago. He's been by himself ever since. This is the first time Rambo's been close to him. Every time Rambo talks, or comes near the fence, Hawk just runs away. Leave me alone. I don't want anything to do with you. Well, except for these crazy turkeys, 
chickens, they're not turkeys, crazy chickens named turkey. We're safe right now. I didn't bring anybody any snacks, so they're kind of mad. But I just came out and collected eggs, which I only got two. I was up to six a day, now I'm down to two. Oh, that's not going to fill my egg orders. I'm going to have to get some more babies. Stinking chickens. Hey, Munchie! That was super rude! <laughs> Munchie, I, I don't think I caught it. Munchie just sideswiped Tom Solo, knocked him down. He even grunted a little bit. Alright. I'm think, thinking if the electric wire doesn't work, maybe we'll uh, park the truck out here tomorrow. And when we see him getting close, hit the panic button. Have the panic alarm start going off. See how he feels about that. I guess I have to do some more studying on bobcats. I don't know if he lives here forever or if he's just passing through. If you know, comment. Do they migrate? Does he live here? <sighs> how long am I going to have to put up with him for? Seems like only mainly in the fall when I lose most of my chickens. We assumed it was fox and coyote, but maybe it's been this guy all along. I don't know. So... Eric tried to shoot him with a BB gun last night, but he did not care. He was not, uh, he was not impressed by BBs. So, we'll have to see, see if uh, he needs to be impressed by some buckshot maybe later. I don't know. All right, well, uneventful afternoon chores. I'll let you know how it goes this evening. Have a great rest of your night.